Hi everyone, Jodie from Northwest Accountancy. Just wanted to share a live feed with business owners today. Um, one of the things that has really, oh, a bit shaky here, um, has really upset me as an accountant recently is business owners not understanding their financial statements, not knowing how to check their balance sheet, not knowing how to understand their profit and loss statement, and not being able to make the right decisions for their business. So a couple of examples I've had recently is um, businesses who are using Xero, which I love Xero. It's an awesome bookkeeping solution, but if you're not using it correctly, then you're not gonna get all of the right information. So a couple of business owners using Xero, oh, that's better in the shade, um, have come to me. So I've had a look at their Xero and I've opened up their balance sheet and looked at their numbers and said, well, do you have two bank accounts? One of them said yes, but on their balance sheet, they only had one bank account. So for me, this is really disappointing in their other accountant for not asking that question and their bookkeeper as well, um, for not asking that question and not checking that we had all of the information needed to do the financial reporting properly. So for this particular client, there was missing income, missing expenses, um, the GST that was lodged on BAS forms was wrong and the balance sheet wasn't showing a complete picture of what their balance, what their business was worth. So that was really, really disheartening to see as an accountant. Um, and as a business owner, it's your responsibility to know how your business is running um, and make sure that everything's being recorded in the right way so that you can make the right decisions for your business. Um, in another client, um, they had a gut feeling that their zero was wrong and, and um, they were actually using a spreadsheet as well to calculate what their income and expenses were. So I was like, well, why are you double handling this? You're doing it in zero and a spreadsheet. But her gut feeling was right um, and zero was wrong. Um, their previous accountant hadn't realized that um, there was duplicate transactions and when I say duplicate transactions it wasn't just one or two there was hundred and twenty duplicate transactions out of 400 entries and that's a lot that's a lot of wrong in a zero file so the basses were lodged based on the zero file the tax returns lodged based on the zero file it just it, it's really disappointing from my point of view to see so many businesses not understanding and not knowing that their books are so wrong. Um, so I really encourage everybody to do that little bit of training. Um, figure out what's going on in your business. Make sure you understand what your balance sheet is. Make sure you understand what a profit and loss statement is. And look at your financial reports regularly. Once a quarter when you do your best. Pull up those reports, look at them properly, make sure they're right, make sure that what you're doing in your business is reflected in your financial statements or financial reports. Um, I want to thank everyone for joining, thank everyone for watching. We do have training at Northwest Accountancy. My next training course for understanding financial statements is on the 1st of November on a Wednesday in the middle of the day, so if you can make it, I'd love to have you everything i'd love to teach you everything you need to know about understanding your financial statements and how to make sure your business records are right um please it, it's really important as a business to know that your reports are correct so that you can make the right decisions so if you've got any questions if you want more information please let me know i'm happy to help out thanks for watching bye